Sala leaving will give will give us a huge transfer kitty and also kind of free up a chunk of the wages, right? So I think right now Sala is not in the position where he was two years ago when he offered him a new contract. I mean, it, it's up in the air right now. It depends on what slot comes in and what position he wants to play him in. I want to spin this question and ask, like, would where would Sala be? Like, do you think Liverpool will move on from <laughs> Sala? At this point, it doesn't look likely. I think Sala wants. I mean, it can go both ways, right? Uh, on one hand, he definitely would want to have one more uh, good payday, or and just kind of move on. And because I think he has achieved everything he wants to achieve, and he's the biggest proponent of his club. You know, in spite of the recent spats and everything, uh, club, and he's he's leaving as well. I think this is a good inflection point for anyone who wants to leave Liverpool. Uh, Salah, I think, uh, may want to, given everything, given the replace, you know. All the turmoil that's kind of going on right now, um, but I mean, but the thing is, he has he's he's on the he's at the likes of a Ronaldo or you know because he has that that capability which he can take it forward for at least a couple of years. I mean, he's he's not he's not he hasn't peaked yet. I mean, he still has like this three four years of uh, where he can he can. He can prove at the highest level, right? So, and for him, if he leaves Liverpool, the only option available right now is Saudi. He, I don't think he can probably go to a, a better club. I mean, I don't think he's going. He's going to go anywhere in Premier League. His options are limited. So at this point, I think it's better for him to say to stay at Liverpool. But I don't well, I, exactly know. I I totally see PSG for him. He can still do well in the like League One. They could make a move for him if he wants to actually go away, right? Like uh, I don't know, I I I don't think he's drying up for options. To your point, like mm-hmm. he's still like wanted. Whether I think personally he'd want to be at like La Liga, preferably if if he if he's ever leaving Liverpool. But mm-hmm. uh, yeah, I don't know. And also, FSG is a club which will accept bids, right? It's mm-hmm. not like they, yeah, yeah. if a seventy million, sixty million bid comes for him, they'll be tempted because there's one more season on his contract. So yeah, right, uh, I, right, right now Salah is not untouchable. Like you know, right now I think if if there because Salah leaving will give will give us a huge transfer kitty and also kind of free up a chunk of the wages, right? So I think right now Salah is not in the position where he was two years ago when he offered him a new contract. So at this point, I think there. I mean, it, it's up in the air right now. It depends on what slot comes in and what position he wants to play him in. Because uh, him playing uh, wide four three three hasn't really worked well this season in terms of his output. So if he if he plays the wide attacker in four two three one, then maybe it's a new way, new position for him. So a new role for him. So we have to see. I mean, to be honest, I personally feel like Saka is the most disrespected player. Ever, I think. Sorry, Salah, <laughs> Salah, Salah, Salah. My bad. I mean, it's always the comparison, right? But like, Salah is the most disrespected player ever. Uh, if you look at the normal punditry that goes on, right? Like, people are coming on and be like, you know, we don't, I don't like him as a player or like what he stands for and stuff like that because of what he said about the political situation in the Middle East and stuff. Uh, I don't think he's given the props, and I personally don't think he is the reason for Liverpool to go down this season. I think he's been fine. Uh, he's been absolutely fine, and I, I get the frustration of why, uh, like you know, there, there there are occasional spats between people and managers and players, and that's fine, and they, it's kind of like resolved now. I think Liverpool can would do, in my opinion, very well by just sticking to Salah for another season, just because of the continuity sakes, and also they don't want to like fall off massively with a new manager. Like Salah would provide that kind of stability. And he has the output. I mean, there's potential talk of Nunes, going, Diaz going, Gakpo mm-hmm. not scoring. So you can't replace the whole front line in one window, and you can't keep all those to those three. Yeah. So the only problem right now is Salah has only one year left on his contract. Yeah. So yeah. the only way we Liverpool can get something out of him if he wants to leave next season is to kind of offer him a new contract with lowered wages. Now, will Salah accept the new contract with lowered wages? I don't think so because he's still been the you know. The, the number one player for us in the last, you know, even this season, right, in terms of attacking output goals and assists, he's, he's been the top. So I think it's a decision which FSG have to make. And if there is a, as 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 Nihal said, if there is a bid coming in from Saudi, which is kind of to the 
you know 200 million pounds or something like that for crazy money then i think we will accept it but the only way sala can stay this season is if he offer if he accepts a new contract on lower terms which again is unlikely so that's why i don't have an answer it's it can go any way at this point uh, depends on how slot slot can convince the you know convince sala in his playing role yeah i mean personally yeah. i think sala would want to like wait before signing the contract and that right. is the sticky point because mm-hmm. fsg are like smart like they we've seen that they're, they're not scared of like moving players on especially right. if they get into the last year of contract without signing and klopp leaving is weird timing for them for especially for this contract so if i if i'm actually anticipating uh, a move for sala because i don't think sala will be will in pre-season he won't be convinced on on slot yes if the season's going well he'll then sign maybe but mm-hmm. i think sala will also want to weigh his options out like, exactly and by that, by that point it will be too late for him to sign a contract and everything so yeah, yeah. we'll we'll see yeah